Most car enthusiasts who play racing games would prefer a wheel and pedup settles, which creates a more immersive experience. However, a sim racing rig chassis carries a decently hefty price tag. This was the least expensive rig that I could find on Amazon, so my goal was to accomplish the same results using significantly less money. For every design process, CAD is such a necessary resource because it allows you to model parts and assemblies through any number of iterations made due to information learned from prototypes or unexpected constraints. Because I had some leftover tubing and scrap metal from my go-kart project two years ago, this was a good opportunity to cut down on costs, especially in one of my budget hiccups that I'll mention later on. Now I had an idea when I started this project with how I wanted to build the general chassis and layout of the entire system. But the important thing for me was to make sure that I didn't use up too much metal because metal is the more expensive factor when it comes to raw materials of this build. What I didn't realize was that by the time I finished my final iteration of this CAD model, I was using way too much metal and looking up the prices per unit of metal that I needed for tubing and like L brackets, it was just simply going to be way too expensive. So I had to change the design and I decided to use a lot more wood than I originally planned to, but uh, that would come down to my manufacturing abilities as well. I started off with an inventory check and organized all of the tools and parts that I would need for each manufacturing step to make the process as seamless as possible. I cut the tubing and custom brackets down a size and also prepped the metal so that when I needed to apply my paint job I wouldn't have to do that again. I then drilled the holes and then mounted the fasteners to hold all of the respective pieces together. After that I mounted the wood blocks which would be used to support the chair. And although the chair was hard mounted, I made a custom pedal slider mount to allow people of different heights to use the same rig. After that came the wheel and shifter mount and last but not least I gave this rig a proper paint job and we ended up with this. Now the price to beat was $378 plus tax and I can very happily say that we have achieved that goal by a very significant margin at a total of $155.29. On raw materials I spent $37, fasteners $99.94 and for paint and safety I spent $18.35. 
Now, you might wonder why I spent so much money on fasteners, and there's actually a funny story behind it. I had gone back to the hardware store multiple times to buy more fender washers because I was always running out right when I thought I had just the right amount. So I went and just purchased a pack of 100 fender washers, which was completely unnecessary, but it was hilarious because it costed me 63 bucks. And uh, it was funny because when I was checking out at the register, the lady was like, what do you need all these for? I was like, I'm kind of fed up on going back and forth because I'm building something. <laughs> so I ended up just spending 63 bucks on just fender washes and now I probably have about like 70 to 80 left over. But it's okay because I can save those for another project. Manufacturing was both good fun and tiresome at the same time, especially when I had some of these hiccups. Overall for execution, I spent about one week refining the CAD and making sure everything was fine before manufacturing. And then I spent two weeks actually building the thing and painting it. And overall the project was a success and I'm definitely going to enjoy my favorite racing titles. And I can't wait to see what I come up for the next project idea. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.